video that I would do a tutorial using a lot of the products that I showed in that video. So here is this tutorial today. I also just want to thank my friends over at PNG for sponsoring this video. Now the look that I created here I absolutely love because it is super super glam but it's so girly and I think it's just a pretty look. Like a lot of times I do sort of dramatic looks where it's very glam with a lot of glitter and it's kind of a lot to do and it can be sort of intense but I think this is just a soft pretty look. I especially like it because, like I said, I feel pretty in it, and I think that's how makeup should make you feel. You should feel more confident when you wear makeup, and this look just gives me that, so I really love this tutorial. I'm very excited to show you guys it. Also, a little something, something to think about. It is prom season, so prom proposals are literally happening all the time, so if you guys are in this beat, you will be ready for any promposal that might spring up. If you're on spring break and some cute boy walks over, you'll be ready to go. Not that you need makeup to be confident, but I'm just saying it helps me out. So if it helps me out, maybe it can help one of you guys out that are watching this video as well. So check out for more information on the products that I'm using in this video, as well as offers from Ulta in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's get on to how to do this look. So I'm starting off with my face primed and my foundation on as well as my eyelids primed. To prime my face I use the CoverGirl True Blend Primer and then the foundation is the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. Now just go in and throw in any sort of transition shade that you want into your eye. You can use one that matches your skin tone, whatever you want. I went for more of a soft brown type of look. And then I also am throwing on a little eyeshadow base onto my lid to make the lid shadows pop. I opted for a champagne pink type of cream shadow base but you can use a white or any sort of light colored base that you own will work perfectly fine. <laughs> Now I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl True Naked Palettes and this is the Roses Edition. Like I said in my haul, I love these palettes. I think they are so pigmented and they last so long on my eye. So I first go in with the second to lightest shade. It's like a shimmery champagne shade. I love this and I put this on the inner half of my lid. Then I go in with this shimmery rose shade and I put this on the outer half of my lid and then I'll flip my brush to blend the two colors together. This just adds a little gradient and dimension to my lids but it's beautiful. I like to then go in with this purple shade and throw this towards the outer part of my crease in with a fluffy crease brush but then I also drag it into the inner corner to help blend it all together. And then I like to go in with the lighter pink shade, these um, last two shades that I use for both matte. Excuse me, by the way, I'm watching Tana Mojo's like punching herself in the face video, literally the funniest video ever, I was dying. And I just put that rose shadow right over top of the purple plum shadow. And then I like to go in with just the lightest color in the palette and place that underneath my brow to blend it all together and finish off the eye. Then I like to go in with the Ole Fresh FX Makeup Removing Towelettes and I like to go in and just sort of clean up the edge of my eyeshadow. If I make it kind of too round, it gives the eye look a different shape. So I like to go in and just sort of cut that to a nice strict line. This is the CoverGirl Intensify Me Liquid Liner and I sped this up, see I'm laughing again, she is so funny. I sped this up just so you guys could see exactly what I do here. So what I'm doing is I'm just lining the little gaps in between my eye lashes. I almost forgot the word, my eyelashes. I'm not trying to make a big dramatic um, upper lash line liquid liner kind of look. I really just want my lashes to look a lot more full. But having it be a liquid liner as opposed to a pencil liner makes it a lot more black and that much more intense, but still super, super natural. So you can see here that it looks natural and just like I have a full lash line. This mascara is great. It's a CoverGirl Pumpify Mascara. I really do love this a lot. So I'm just going to put this on my upper lashes. And I feel like this look is very much so about the lashes. So I'm going to do a few coats of this until I get the desired look that I want and that I'm happy with. Now I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl and Olay Concealer. This is the Deep Puffer Under Eye Concealer. This I absolutely love. I really like this because it has the metal tip and also it's a perfect shade for highlighting and it smells 
really, really good, you guys. It smells like the Nature Lux foundation. But do you guys remember that foundation? So OG, so good. I love it. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells very fresh and clean. And then I also wanted to keep this in because I never really show this part, but here I'm just blending it out with a beauty blender. Mega fast. I wish I could do it this fast. Don't you take my makeup like no time at all. And then here I'm going to go in with a pressed powder. This one is also by CoverGirl. And I'm just going to put this over any sorts of highlighted areas that I have on my face. Or I guess I should say anywhere that I just put that lighter concealer is where I'm putting this powder just to set all the highlighted areas. I really like this powder. It gives my skin a very smooth look and it does lock the makeup in all day. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer. And I'm gonna go in and I'm going to contour my nose with this. I've just recently started contouring my nose a lot more and I have been just obsessed with it. So I'm just going in chiseling that out. And then this is a trick. Basically just take your powder brush and you just kind of flick right over top of where you just did that line and it keeps it very defined, but it also softens it out a lot. And then I like to go in with a bigger brush and I just like to disperse that bronzer all over just to give me a warmth and a glow. This is a really beautiful shade. It has a little tiny bit of shimmer to it, so it's not like a disco ball. It has a beautiful sheen. It really does just warm up your complexion. Then I like to go in with the Roses palette again and take the two lightest colors and just use this as my highlight. You don't need to go out and get fancy highlights because a lot of eyeshadow palettes honestly have the exact same shadows. So I just love this. It gives a beautiful glow and sheen to the look. And then this is the CoverGirl True Blends Blush. I put that on the apples of my cheeks to rosy them up and give them a little youthful glow. And I think this really just adds a fun element to the look. And it's really girly and really pretty. I'm gonna go off and finish the eyes. So I'm taking the two shadows that I used on my lid and applying them to my lower lash line to open up my eye and give it a very doe-eyed, doll-eyed effect. Then I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade of the palette that we use under the brow bone and I'm going to pop this on the inner corners of my eyes to furthermore brighten them up. Then I like to go in with that liquid liner again and kind of make little dots along my lower lash line. You can totally skip this step if you want. It's just going to add a little extra element of opening your eye up and making your lower lash line look a lot more full. You're going to see when I'm done with my mascara that it really does add a fun element to the look. Feel free to skip it. I just wanted to add something a little new into my tutorials. And then I'm just going to rim my waterline with a white eyeliner to furthermore open them up. And then, like I said, I'm going to finish off the look with that same Plumpify Mascara by CoverGirl. This is the waterproof formula, and I always prefer waterproof for my lower lashes, um, just because it doesn't transfer onto my skin. So just that's just a little tip from me. But here I'm finishing up, so now you're able to see that it just adds a little bit of a fun effect when you add those little dots onto your lower lash line. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my lips, and I wanted to keep these soft and neutral and pretty and pink. So I'm first going to start off by lining my lips and then filling them in. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Queen Collection Lip Gloss. You guys know this is like my holy grail lip gloss one of them i have many but this is like top three i'd have to say i love it it's so glossy it's so pearlescent it's just so beautiful it's just such a great gloss and then after that's done i always go and i do a little touch up so anyone else ever do this i always cut this out of my tutorials but i thought you know what i'd put this in today so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. As I said earlier, be sure to check out the description box down below for any other offers or all the product details. It'll be down there. And because I know this look makes me feel really confident, I want to see if this look also makes you guys feel confident so you guys can recreate this look or also make an entirely new look that you guys like to sport a lot whenever you need a little extra oomph in your life. So be sure to tweet them using the hashtag live in your moment so I can see them and I can like them and see your cute little faces. We can talk on Twitter, that'd be really fun. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.